hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another toy poodle maintenance vlog i'm here with mr neo yes mr neo <laughs> and um i wanted to talk to you guys about uh well if you didn't watch the first maintenance vlog make sure you watch that where neo got his first uh haircut from the actual professional groomers now we've been going to petco that's where we've been going and i actually like the lady that's been working with him she did a great job now the first time they ever do a appointment for a new puppy i guess they just do a bath um their face sanitary areas and like the, the pads and that's all they do for the first visit. So they don't want to scare the puppy um, being that it's his first visit. And you know, they have to wash him, blow dry him, and then just do the face and everything. So that's a lot on the first time. So they don't do the, uh, they don't do all the areas for that first trip. So this is officially his first time getting a full cut. And um, I think she did a really good job. He looks really good. He looking for treats. Here, take your treat. Here, one more treat and that's it. Okay, so she did a really good job. If you can see, he has like uh hold on, let the people see you. <laughs> so I think he looks really good. She did um all over and it's kind of like all even, including his face, which I like. Now it's been like a week, so his curls have come in, but when he first came back, he was straight. <laughs> but when he goes outside and it's humid out, his curls um, tend to come back, which I like because that's his natural texture and I like that. So um, yeah, so he did really good at the groomer, she said, and I was really happy about that. He did not fight too much. She said he didn't really act that scared, you know, about the, uh, the clippers or things like that. So I'm really happy he's getting accustomed to the groomers. And um, I think he's gonna start going every six weeks to get his hair cut. So I think she already set up his new appointment, which is like six weeks, well, not like five weeks now. But yeah, so he did really good. I'm really happy about that. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about his first time getting groomed and how they do it there. I don't think I talked too much about it um, in the first video. But, um, and if you guys haven't seen the first vlog, make sure you check out check out part one and two of my first puppy maintenance uh, vlog because he was a lot younger then. He has grown a whole lot. I mean, he is about eight pounds now, maybe like eight, four actually. But back then he was more like six, six pound range and um so maybe even four pounds i can't remember exactly but he has definitely grown a lot he's still um working on some things because um he has a lot less accidents in the house now uh, we've been taking him outside to pee and um, he's doing a lot better with his uh potty training but you know he does have accidents every here and there the only thing we have a problem with is um him telling me when he has to go so we're working on that so i just take him make sure i'm taking him but him like actually whining or going to the door is a, is the issue we're having right now. But I also want to talk to um, talk to you guys about his Giardia. Now that's the parasite that he was dealing with, and um, he did have a parasite, and um, that was crazy that we had to deal with that because being a new puppy, you wouldn't think that um a parasite would be an issue especially that he has all his shots you know i've been taking him to the vet to get his first checkup second checkup first and second set of shots and um things like that but he still ended up having a parasite when i took the fecal sample in to get tested and i thought that was crazy so i ended up having to give him um an antibiotic and um some type of medicine that you sprinkle over his food and um he, I had to take another sample, a fecal sample, and it ended up coming back negative. So I'm definitely so happy about that. But the parasite is called Giardia. I had never even heard about Giardia. I didn't know anything about that. I've always heard about worms or um, parvo. Now that was two things I always heard about. And that's why I was getting them shots because I didn't want to have to deal with that. But he still ended up getting a parasite that I did not know about. And um, I believe it came from the breeder and um that's what the vet said it's possible that it came from the breeder they say it could come from the breeder it could come from um sometimes even the mom um dog can pass it on to her babies and um if they got into some contaminated poop and i don't think that was the case because i wasn't taking them to any places that were contaminated like that with other dogs just our backyard and it's closed in fenced off so 
that's what I think happened. But um, I'm just so happy to say that we are free and clear of the Giardia. Now, if you guys um, have ever dealt with that or have any questions about that, make sure you comment below and I'll try to answer the questions as best as I can. But yeah, I'm so happy that we are um, negative on that Giardia because that was very scary for me. And a parasite is scary, period, okay? So, um, you guys, I got Neo a stroller. I wanted to show it to you guys. It's so cute. Um, I've used it one time at the mall and I'm planning on taking him to the mall probably tomorrow again and using the stroller. I just want to show it to you guys because I think he looks so cute in it and um, it's just so like if you want to walk him around the mall you can but at the same time you might want to just put him in a stroller for a little bit you know just kind of like a, a break from walking pretty much so that's why I got it but I'm gonna show it to you guys and if you guys are interested in uh, where I got it from I got it off of Amazon and I'll put the link be uh, below if you're interested in purchasing it or whatever so um, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow when we go to the mall um, and you get to see the stroller all right there he is mr. fox he looks like a fox to me hey Ooh. okay I'm gonna let you out I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I shot me Oh, I'm so sorry. Leave that man in there. I'm so sorry. All right. All right, there go crazy man. He's so excited. Hi, handsome. I'm sorry. That was not nice to do that to that man, huh? You ready to go to the mall? Say yes. Give me a paw. Yes, good boy. Yes. We're going to go to the mall and be a good boy. Okay, come on. All right, we about to go. We're about to get his uh, stroller in the car and stuff. All right. All right, let me get your seatbelt on. Make sure you get your seatbelt on. All right, there we go. You okay? You okay? That will make it show. Here, sit down. Sit down, good boy. There you go. Yes. You hear those birds? All right, you're doing good. don't want he I don't want that stupid water he's scared of the water he don't want to go in I don't know why you don't want to go in the water she like water I don't like it I don't like it okay <laughs> good morning Yes, so I'm out here in these streets. I got little man with me today. I should show you guys how I have him. Okay, he has his harness on, if you can see it. It's on, and then I just been looping. Ignore, I don't know what got on my seat, y'all. I just been looping the um, the seat belt through the harness. So right now, until I figure out his seat belt arrangement. Yeah, you see it right there. I have been um, just like looping it into his harness for right now because he's getting a little big for his um, his little kennel. He's getting a little too big for it. Or he just don't like being in there all the time. So I think that that holds him pretty secure. <laughs> so yeah, um, today I am going to get his heartworm medicine again. So we are on our next month of his heartworm medicine, heartworm, flea and tick medicine. So yeah, I don't know if I talked about this before, but um, the lady at the vet told me that um, heartworms are um, caused from mosquitoes. Okay, so, oh my goodness, hit a little bump. So yeah, heartworms are caused from mosquitoes and um, that's really serious because I've been taking them on like late night walks, like kind of like right before the sun goes down, we might go for a walk. And I worry about mosquitoes because I've been wearing my, um, off 
but this is called cutter but it's very similar to off and um, i've been wearing that because you know when it gets late at night and the summertime is approaching and we get like uh you know i worry about mosquitoes because i didn't got a couple mosquito bites um you know just going on those late night walks i just don't want him to um you know have any issues with heartworms or anything like anything like that and then um so that's definitely why i'm getting it and then um you guys so i asked the lady also i said um i know that the uh pill that he takes it's um protects him against heartworms which is caused by mosquitoes or it comes from mosquitoes and um i said well does that prevent him from getting mosquito bites you know and uh, she said you know it doesn't prevent him from getting mosquito bites it just prevents the heartworms so um i found out that um the pet stores actually carry a repellent almost like off and it's for dogs so i looked that up on google and um i think when i go to the pet store i'm going to get him some of that because i don't want him to suffer from mosquito bites either and i want him to be you know have repellent so i'm gonna go look into that um later on i'm gonna go to the pet store i gotta get a couple things anyway and i'm gonna look in the area and see if um i can find the repellent for him because who wants to be getting bit up you know Puppy, you don't want your puppy getting bit up either, you know, because those are itchy, you know. So, yeah, so I'm going to look into that today. I think I'm going to go later and I'm going to go look for the repellent. So I thought that was interesting. So the 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 peel that he takes, it prevents um, the heartworm flea and ticks, but it doesn't prevent him from getting the mosquito bites. Um, so that is a question that I had, you know, and um I'm definitely going to go look into that later. So right now, um, I'm going to his vet because he's due for his heartworm medicine. It's been a month, so he's been getting getting the pill monthly. So yeah, we're here now, and I'm going to go inside, and I'm going to go grab that. I can't remember the cost. Y'all ignore my hair, y'all. I can't remember the cost um, of the, the pill, but um, I'll find out when I get in there. I think maybe around $20. I really don't remember. But it goes by their weight. So he's not above 10 pounds. I weighed him at home, you guys. I put him on a scale myself, and um, I got um, nine, two. So right now, it said on my scale that he's nine pounds, two ounces. So he's still on the same dosage that they gave him before because he hasn't reached, reached 10 pounds. So I think he's going to be getting the exact same pill uh, from last month. Yep, so we're going to go in there real quick, get his meds, and then I'll be right back out. You ready to go inside, sweet man? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. So this is what I mean by I put the harness seatbelt right through there. So I've been putting that seatbelt through there, and he's been riding with me, and it's really secure. Like, he'll lay down with it, or he'll just, like, um, see, he can lay down. He think we're not getting out, so he, like, lay back down. But, yeah, he... um he can just lay down but it's really secure like for real yeah you gonna lay okay you gonna bite me yo but yeah so i just wanted to show you guys what i've been doing as of now you wanna walk okay is that hot on your paws hopefully not okay here you go with his sniffing lock my doors we're not pee pee out here or poop all right come on uh oh, yeah, there's another dog over there. Oh, friends. We might meet friends today. You didn't even meet friends. Yeah. You gonna say hi to friends today? Come on, let's go in. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Hi, I was here to pick up uh, Neo's um, heartworm medicine. Okay. Yeah, I called it in last week and. Um, I forgot to pick it up a couple days ago, so I wanted to get it. You said Neo's? Neo, N-E-O. I wanted to weigh him real quick. Can I weigh him? Okay. Come on, Neo. Come on, step on those scale. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Get up there. There you go. Oh, no, it says he's two. He's 10. Oh, he might be 10 pounds now. Is he going to be still in the same one? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, okay. Okay. I waited at my home and said 9 too, but it's been maybe a week ago. Oh, y'all sell these here? I wanted to get some of these. I didn't know you put the pill in there. Okay, so this is our option to put his pill in there. That is so neat. Oh, that's for felines. That's for cats. 
then this is the dog one. You can put the pill in there. Oh, yeah. So it goes up to 11 pounds. So he just made it. Okay, yeah, good. Made it. Good. So it goes up to 11 pounds. It's really seeing some things in here. I didn't remember how much it cost. It's uh, $35.81. Oh, is it that much? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I wanted to know, um, like, is this something I should keep getting here? Or can you go over the counter for... Um... The Semperica Trio is prescription, so you would have to get it at the vet. Oh, okay. Um, so you is can... it better than the uh, over-the-counter brands? Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Um, you can buy it online. I mean, we have our online pharmacy. Oh. So you right. can yep, okay. and have it shipped to your home. I'm just looking to see... But the only thing with that is you can't just buy one dose. You have to buy it like in. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. All right, here you go, ma'am. And just because he's still under a year, mm -hmm. we, I mean, his weight fluctuates. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. So, okay. But once he gets like past the year, then you can buy him like more than just the one. Oh, here? You can buy them here, yeah. Oh, so once I get to the year mark, I can start buying a little, make it a little easier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Hey, Michelle. We're about to go on Petco. No, Pet Smart. sorry. Come on. Good boy. Put his butt in there. <laughs> Too funny. All righty. I think I'm going to give him the smaller greens. I'm going to give him some of those. I got the petite where's petite i got him the petite but i think those are just a little too big for him and he likes these so i'm gonna get him the teeny ones five to 15 pounds i used to get these but i just want to go a little bigger but i think i'm he gonna try to open them if i <laughs> put them down in there with him he likes them a lot so i'm gonna try the uh go back down oh yeah them good huh where favorites go they moved them oh there they go this is his favorites he likes these the best and guess what he doesn't like he doesn't like beef and I'll never buy um, rabbit because I used to have rabbit and I can't imagine my dog eating rabbit stuff <laughs> so really I'm left with chicken and then oh they have a salmon he's had salmon and chicken before and now he has beef but he doesn't really like the beef so I'm thinking he likes the chicken or the salmon so I think I'm gonna do chicken this time these are one of his favorite treats and I do those are like his training treats for like when he goes potty and stuff and he's been doing really good with his potty training he really has. Oh, y'all. I think he's barking at that dog. <laughs> he's barking at the dog. Wouldn't he? That doggy mess with you? That doggy mess with you? No, no, doggy. No, no. And then I thought about getting these for um, his pill that he has to take. But I don't think I want to pay $20 just for those pockets. And then, I mean, I think I'm just going to continue mixing it. Because that's pretty pricey. Come on. Just for that. He being such a good boy. He actually can act right. He acts like he has some sense, you guys. He really does. I don't know what he's barking at, though. No, he's not. It must be some dogs. I think it's dogs in there. He can tell. It's the groomers. Yeah. It's okay. I think this is what I'm looking for. Repels mosquitoes for dogs and cats. Yep, so this is the one. to give Neo a much needed bath um, it's been a couple weeks and I've been meaning to give him one and I keep on procrastinating so today's the day I'm gonna go ahead and give him one um, he loves the bath so I'm starting to notice that he really likes the bath when I'm running the water he's trying to jump in it <laughs> so yeah he's not gonna have a problem getting his bath today so I think he's gonna be excited <laughs> Why you acting scared? I thought you wanted to get in. <laughs> I thought you liked the bath. Oh, 
All right, Mr. Wet Man is done. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, stop. I think I'm gonna put him in the cage with a towel so he can dry, but he's all done. He did pretty good. He did pretty good for his bath. Yep, he did. <laughs> all right, I'll be back, okay? Be good, boy. You all right. Dry off for a little bit, okay? And hey, mommy be back. Watch your nose. Bye, cuteness. Bye, cuteness. He look crazy. <laughs> okay, so the day is winding down. Neil, settle down. Um, I almost forgot to give him his heartworm medicine, so I want to make sure I do that before uh, the day gets too late. And um, he needs that, you know. Uh-oh. Because it's been a month, and um, he's due pretty much. So I picked it up. And I haven't given it to him yet, so I want to make sure I do that now. So I just washed out his bowls. That's his water bowl. That's his food bowl. And then I am out of I am out of his cucumbers and um, snap peas. So I'm going to do something different for him today. So yeah, I'm going to make his food, and then I'm going to stick the heartworm uh, medicine in there somehow. Okay, so this is what I've been giving him so far. He's been doing his dog food that they gave me at the vet. And um, I've been sticking with that. It's a local brand, kind of close to um, where I got him from. And um, I've been doing that fresh pet. This, that's the small breed um, kind. And then this is um, a broth. This is a thicker one. And it has kind of like some uh, chunkier meat pieces in the broth. So I'll do that. And then sometimes I'll just do the liquidy pure liquid one where it's just um all straight broth i'll just pour that over the dog food because he likes um he doesn't really like his dog food that much so i'll just try to give it a little more flavor for him and then make sure he's getting his grains but this is just one i've been um a brand that i picked up at pet smart i think and um they have different ones you know i've just been grabbing ones that i think he might like so this is chicken duck and kale and then this is the uh, heartworm medicine in here, the little tablet that I bought from the vet. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Don't mess up the camera now. All right, this is the food bowl. Yeah, but when, um, I'm sorry. When um, he is a year old, I don't have to uh, keep buying it month to month. That's what she said. So I can start buying it in bulk from the uh, vet when, it's, um, when he's a year old. That's gonna be com more convenient because I've been like, why do I have to keep buying this every month? It's kind of annoying to go up there every month and get him his medicine. But yeah, she let me know that. Um, she let me know that. Okay, so that is his small breed, um, the fresh pet. And I just like to smash it. Even though it's like in little cubes, I still smash it down a little bit. I don't know. I just feel like it's better if I smash it down and then he's not eating it all whole or chomping it down real fast. I just want him to make sure he's digesting it good, you know? Okay, so I got that smashed down. I'm gonna pour his broth over top of his food. So I'm gonna just pour a little bit of broth over that. Yep, just a little bit for flavor because he won't like eat his dog food sometimes if I don't put something over it. I don't have his snap peas. Snap peas is his favorite thing to eat. So I don't have snap peas or cucumbers, which I usually do, but just for today, he hasn't had any fruit in a little while. So I'm gonna do an orange and maybe a banana. I'm not sure if I'm doing banana, but maybe I'll just stick with an orange for now. But he likes bananas and oranges. So, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's his bowl for today. And then I'm gonna take the, um, this is the peel. That's the brand if you wanna look it up. This goes to 11 pounds. I thought it was 10 pounds, but um, it goes to 11 pounds and then he has to go into another uh, another peel that they offer, which is probably just for a bigger weight. And um, I can't believe how big he's got because I remember when he was like five pounds, then six pounds. And it's like he just shot up to 10 pounds. I just can't believe it. So now he is exact, exactly 10 pounds. Now I think this just dissolves and he won't even recognize that it was in there. So I'm gonna stick this down in here. I think it'd be okay if I just put it in there. Yep, so it's mixed in there and we're gonna see how he does. All right, it's coming. All right, sit. Good boy, Neo. You're such a good boy. Sit again. Let me see you sit. Good boy, good boy. All right, push your ears forward. Come on now, look cute for the video. So we'll see how he does with the peel. And if there's no peel in there, that means he ate it and he didn't even notice it was in there. Right? Oh, he chowing down today. Mm -hmm. All right, big boy. 
no pill, no pill. He ate it. He's giving no issues. So he ate that pill, didn't even probably notice it. All right, so he's done with his heartworm medicine that prevents heartworms. And did you guys know that heartworms is from mosquitoes? I didn't know if you guys knew that. I think I said that. I wanted to bring the stroller out so you guys could see it. This is the stroller. His crazy butt is on the floor. Ooh, boy. Okay, so that's the stroller. I want to show you guys the stroller. It's the, uh, it has the mesh so he could see out. Um, look at him. <laughs> he think when the stroller come out, we going somewhere. So he excited. Yeah, so this is the stroller. This came off of Amazon. So I'm gonna put the link down there. And then there's another one that I like. I'll put that link down there too. So you could choose if you want to do this one or you want to do the other one. Um, the other one has a little more of the netting around. So if you want them to be able to see a little more, you okay? A little more. Um, the other one is kind of like that. But this one, I love this one as well. So I'll put the link below if you guys are interested in uh, the stroller. And then the other one, you can, that'll be down there as well. But yeah, we had a great uh, time at the mall. Um, a lot of times I'll carry him. Because I mean, you know, I don't mind carrying him. And he likes being high up to like see things and things like that. And then when I get tired of carrying him, I can put him in there. He can still see. I will be having a um, essentials a uh, video coming up soon. So make sure you guys subscribe so you won't miss that video. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You guys like the video. If you guys like the video, follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram at charchanel underscore. And um, make sure you guys subscribe. All right, and me and Neo, we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>